let Microsoft Designer create an artistic, bold, inspiring social media posts, flyers, and event invitations that convey messages with vibrant colors, or you want something that has warm and cozy colors with sophisticated images, just tell Microsoft Designer what you want. The AI tool will provide you with endless stunning ideas that you can use or easily modify. In this video, I will show you how to create an account and give you an overview of the application. Let's get started. Okay, so I have navigated to designer.microsoft.com. I will add the link in the description below, but at the top right, click on get started for free, right? And sign up with your personal Microsoft 365, Xbox or Windows account, and you even have the ability to create one, but do not use your Microsoft work or school account you will get a prompt to create a personal account. Now, I wanted to share this page with you because I get so many questions about this error message. So go ahead and enter in your email address. Here's a tip. I added the word designer in my new account name. You know, it will help later to help me know which account is used specifically for the designer account. So hit next. This page will request your, you know, your password or if you want to receive information or tips. For me, since I don't plan to use this account, but only for Microsoft Designer, I deselected this option. So go ahead and hit next and input your name. Hit next again and provide your location and your birthday. Now, once your account has been verified, you are ready to go. Okay, so I am on the page, the creator page where all the match begins. Let me share with you what you have here. Across the top, you will see the icon to give Microsoft feedback. I do encourage you to give Microsoft feedback because this is a new application and you have the ability to influence change. So that's good. Next, you have the ability to manage your account. You can add your image. You can add a recovery telephone number associated with this account, which is important should you forget your, your password. And I did notice that you have ability to have this account associated with your work or school. You cannot log in with it, but you can connect the two. So go ahead and take a look at that. The other thing that I want to show you here is make sure you look at what's new. This application is fairly new. Um, notice that they have released a lot of new features. They have improved some things and released some new features. So continue to look here um, as you start to use this on, hopefully on a daily, weekly basis. Okay, so here, this is where you're going to enter in your prompt. And I'm going to come back to that in a second. Look down here at the bottom. If you want to start from a blank canvas, you can do that. And once you create, you know, some of these um, social media posts or invitations, you can look at your recent designs by clicking this button here. Now, if you don't have any type of creativity juices in your, your body, Microsoft has given you a bunch of templates that you can choose from and you can modify the colors and the titles. So don't get hung up on that um, when you first look at some of the options that they have. So let's go ahead and create a prompt. I like to empower end users to unleash their digital computer skills. So I wanna create a social media post um, for that. And here I'm going to add create a dynamic and energetic with bold and vibrant colors. Use images showcasing happy, successful workers at computers. So let's see what we get. Microsoft has given me some really nice images here that I can use. Um, notice that they, you know, change the title to say, join our happy and successful team. You know, um, I want to use, you know, unleash 
your digital skills so I can easily go in and make those changes. The other thing that I want you to take note of is too is notice here, they're giving you suggestions on how to um, enter in for AI. I recommend that you pay attention to this because as you start to use this more often, you kind of know what type of prompts to input. If you don't like any of these images, uh, remember you can hit add images from your phone or from your device, or if you have some that you've already saved that's stored here in your um, media. If you click on generate image, you actually have to come in here and um, put a descriptive here to see what you want. So I entered in happy workers at a computer. Notice that I can come here and choose what they have. So take a look. They have offered some of these images. And I actually like this one here. And so I'm going to choose this image. Now, once again, now that I have this image, I'm going to generate it again. Okay. So this looks really nice. Look at the icon here that lets you know that it's animated. Um, or you can look at this option where it is a still photo. The other thing that I want to sh show you is that once you get these options, you have the abilities to change the size. Notice that you can choose portrait, which is for Instagram stories. You can choose, you know, landscape that is for Facebook and the um, 1080 by 1080, which is for Instagram posts. If you choose any of these, notice you will get different images. And I'm going to select this one. Now that I've selected this, you know, notice that I still get some additional options to choose from. Again, I said endless options. You do have um, a lot to choose from. Let's start across the top. You have the option to um, zoom your image, you know, at 100% or, you know, zoom to fit. You can undo and redo. If it is an animated um, image that you can play it so you can take a look at it. If it is a still photo, that icon will not be there. Let's make some changes. So I had said that don't get hung up on the colors because you have the option to choose, you know, a brand kit. Microsoft offers you some suggested styles. If you click on any of these, notice how it'll change. Notice that it will give you different options over here. Um, again, I think I like this one because of the different colors. Let's choose that. If you want to change some of the, the colors of these blocks, let's say you want to choose it as a different color, you can do that. What I like a lot is based on the colors that's in this image, it's giving you suggestions so you stay within that color palette. So that is going to be very helpful. Now, for me, I have brand colors that is associated with Track Creations 4E. I had created that earlier. So if I wanted to use these colors, I can do so as well. Let's talk about text. I clicked on the text icon. You can click, what do you want to design your design to say? You can add a header, subheader, and the body. That's why I wasn't so hung up about what they were offering. So if I'm going to enter in my information. Okay, so I've added this in here. I want to increase the font size. Let's come up here, increase, use the slider. I wish that you can just enter in the number. I find that this can get a little fussy. Let's say I want to add um, another text. Notice when I click here that I'm actually going to choose a different font style because you have many to choose from. Okay, so that looks good. And there's one more I want to add. I want to add my social media at mention. Okay, let's change that font color. Let's resize this and make this kind of small. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Let me cover a few more of designers components. Here, if I click on visuals, 
you this is where you can add more images and i showed you earlier how to generate an image you have options to choose photos under the graphics you have shapes to choose from illustrations and icons as well and if you click on videos you have videos available that you can use as a background so that's good let's click on my media under my media this is where you will be able to upload your files from you know your computer from your cell phone or any of the storage apps where you may have your images stored also under templates again if you want to start um, by using any of microsoft suggested templates you have an option to choose here if you are a person that uploads to social media for every holiday you have options to choose from when you click on designer this is going to show all the designs that you have created you can go back open them delete them or even duplicate any of the ones that you have already created this is important make sure you rename your design if you notice here at the top it's actually pulling the name based on what I had entered in the prompt I want to actually call this unleash your digital skills make sure you change that under resize earlier I shared with you that Microsoft showed you the popular sizes here you have a lot of sizes to choose from here's your Instagram Facebook sizes LinkedIn Pinterest Twitter and even some page sizes if you want to create posters and you also have the ability to customize your own really good this little icon here again if you want to generate some more ideas and then lastly down here at the bottom add a page you can create a blank page or duplicate a page and I'm going to talk about this a little bit more later on in the presentation are you ready to unleash your creativity side but first hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Microsoft designer tips you know there's going to be more features rolling out so stay connected there's a couple things that you can do you can download this and because this is an animated um, clip if you still want this just to be an image you can choose that as well you want to remove the watermark down at the bottom it would say um, created by uh, Microsoft designer you don't want that on your image and you have the ability to either um, copy the URL to your clipboard you can actually send this to your phone and upload it to your social media platform if you hit download it's going to actually save it to your computer and now you can go open it and you have access to it here recently this is new if you hit download and actually say use AI captions and hashtags and you want to try to upload this directly to your Instagram Facebook and LinkedIn account you can do that so what you want to do is just connect to your account sign into your account okay so now that I have connected to my LinkedIn account and uh, what's the main goal um, for this post awareness you know get more engagement increase sales or build a community so we want to just say build a community write a quick description about this so I just put something here empowering Microsoft 365 users um, unleash your digital skills let's generate and see what it gets ready to unlock your digital skills and maximize your Microsoft 365 potential I like that so these are pretty good so you know again you have the ability to actually create um, and use the captions that they have or you can actually choose some additional hashtag I can actually add my own we can up here at the top says choose where to publish this is going to be nice because if I actually link all my accounts here maybe I have the option to put this on three accounts at least 
come at the top and let's hit publish to LinkedIn. I want to jump over and see what this looks like on LinkedIn. Okay, I'm in LinkedIn and there it is. Really nice. I want to go back to some um, designs I had created earlier. Let's go click on designer and my designs. So I had created this earlier um, and notice down here, it has pages one through four. Once you identify what your brand colors are, stop and think about a campaign, not just actually one at a time. Think about multiples. I created this version. I turned around and just changed the wording around a little bit and changed the colors based on my brand colors. And I also added QR code and, you know, here's my logo and, and an image of me. And what I like about this is when I download, I have the ability to do a couple things. When I hit download, we have multiple pages. I was able to say, you know, download all of them as an image because I want to be able to use them one at a time if I wanted to. And because number two is an animated and I wanted my last page to be connected, I actually downloaded this and I will show you what that looked like. So that was image two and this is image um, four. So I was able to save image one with image four and downloaded image three with image four and downloaded. So I end up with like over eight different um, designs that I can use. So keep that in mind. But what I did notice that when I try to do it with multiple pages and link them to my social media sites, they brought all four of them. I end up creating a duplicate slide and removing them if I wanted to upload those images to uh, my LinkedIn account. Let me just quickly show you there. Click on design. I took this one and if you click on the three little dots, you can duplicate it and now you have the ability to delete and add to it. I will give Microsoft that feedback because I would like to be able to say I have four pages, only up pages one and four to my LinkedIn account. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully they make that change. I hope you enjoyed this. Now go work your magic.